They tried to vote, but they couldn't. An IT of analysis shows thousands of greater Cincinnati voters had trouble with their absentee ballots in this year's presidential primaries early on in the pandemic. One local expert is now questioning whether boards of elections are too aggressive in weeding out fraud, even as thousands of tri-state residents have already voted. Investigative reporter Dan Monk is digging into how eight counties handled mail-in voting this year. Deerfield Township resident Laura West voted by mail in Ohio's April 28th election. Warren County records show her vote was never counted. Apparently, it was because I failed to sign the ballot. West is no rookie to voting. She's cast a ballot in nearly every election since her days as a political science major at the University of Dayton. And yet her ballot was one of 5,800 absentee votes that eight local boards of elections rejected in this year's presidential primaries. That's a lot. Does that surprise you? It surprises me. Yeah, it does. The I-Team's analysis shows the rejected ballots amount to 1.8 percent of the 323,000 absentee ballots that local counties receive through the mailbox or the drop box between March and June of this year. Political consultant Kevin Ty was surprised by the number of rejections, too. That can absolutely change the result of an election. Good morning. Good morning. Ty says the pandemic is putting extra pressure on election officials to weed out fraud while counting all legitimate votes for next week's general election. By all means, we should, you know, have a level of scrutiny, but that scrutiny should not make it inordinately difficult for people's votes to be counted. Together, they rejected more than 2,700 ballots that arrived too late and an additional 1,500 with signature problems. They tossed another 1,500 for failing to follow instructions on how to fill out ballots and mailing envelopes. Hamilton County rejected 125 out of the 137,000 ballots it received in April because voters removed this stub. It helps the Board of Elections verify that a ballot they mailed to a voter was returned by that same voter. Although Hamilton County had the second most rejections with 1,562, that's just 1.1 percent of the absentee ballots it received from voters in the primary. Dearborn County rejected the fewest absentee ballots in this year's presidential primary, 11 votes or six-tenths of a percent. It also has the fewest registered voters. Kenton County ranks fourth in registered voters, but first in the number and percentage of rejected ballots. It pitched 7.2 percent of the absentee ballots it received. That's 1,903 rejections. We're much better at it this time than we were in the primary. Kenton County Clerk Gabrielle Summey says nearly half of its rejections came from voters who failed to sign both the yellow inside envelope and the white outside envelope as required by the statute. We followed what had always been done here forever. And if they were missing a signature on the outside or missing one on the inside, they were rejected. But Summey learned after the election that other counties were following a different standard. Summey says she brought the issue to the Kentucky County Clerks Association, and that led to a statewide rule change for the November election. So if I can open up the envelope and there's a signature in there so that I have something to verify, we're good. Back in Warren County, Laura West also made some changes. She voted early and made sure to include information to verify her identity. Signed properly, signed exactly as my name was indicated on the envelope. Took it physically to the drop box right at the Board of Elections. Watched it go in, so yeah. We talked to West a few days after she delivered her ballot to this drop box in Lebanon, October 10th. The Warren County Board of Elections subsequently told her the ballot was accepted and will be counted November 3rd. Dan Monk, WCPO 9, I-Team.